Hi, I'm Amelia Gearhart. What's a Gearhart? It's a symbol. It means you love learning how things work. What kind of things? Well, I love learning about science, technology, engineering, math, and trades, or STEMS for short. Science is exploring something new. Technology is all the digital devices all around us. Engineering is designing things. Math is all the numbers and calculations we need to do just about anything. And trades are specialized, hands-on jobs. Stipped careers are really fun, and they make lots of money. <laughs> but not many people know about them. So come on, let's learn all about stimped. Today we're going to learn about a special type of device that's used just about everywhere. I'll give you a hint. Can you guess what all of these things are? Do you know what all of these things have in common? Yeah, they hold other things together. These are called fasteners. And today, we're gonna learn all about them. I love fasteners. Fasteners are used to hold all kinds of things together, like cars, buildings, computers, and all types of machines, furniture, the list goes on and on. Fasteners are everywhere. And it's important to know all about fasteners if you wanna build or fix things. Stemped careers, like engineering and trades, use a lot of fasteners, that's for sure. Woohoo! The most common fasteners are nuts and bolts. Yeah, you've probably seen them all over, but not like these ones. This is a giant nut and bolt here. So pretty, it's all pink, I love it so much. Nuts and bolts twist together to hold something in between them. See, when I twist the nut, it moves up on the bolt. Hey, do you know which way to turn a nut or a bolt to loosen or tighten? I have a special trick to make it super easy. You just have to remember lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So that means when I turn the top of the fastener to the right, it tightens, see? When I turn it to the left, it loosens, see? Do it with me. Lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Great job! I have another trick about fasteners. Lots of people get confused between which is a nut and which is a bolt. So here's my trick to remember. This is a nut. You can remember it because it's small like a nut on the tree. And this one is a bolt. It's long like a lightning bolt. See, now you can always remember which one's which. Good job. I love playing with fasteners. There are so many different shapes and sizes. Here's a bunch of different ones. <laughs> Let me show you. This is an eye bolt. You can use it to tie rope through or something like that. This one is a thumb screw because you can just use your fingers and thumbs to tighten it. This one is a hex head screw. It's like this bolt here. You see that hexagon shaped head? Sometimes, you know what we call bolts screws? It's a little confusing. When a bolt has a nut on it, we call it a bolt. But when it doesn't have a nut, we call it a screw. Don't worry about it, that doesn't really matter. Just know that bolts and screws are kind of the same thing. This one is called a socket screw because it has an opening here. See that? A special opening. And we use a special tool called an Allen wrench. I don't know who Allen is, but these wrenches are the best. See how the Allen key fits right in? And then it's just lefty, loosey, righty, tiny. Whee! Fasteners are so fun. If you're not old enough to play with real fasteners, it's still really fun to play with toy ones. It helps you practice your lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Let's check out this take apart toy. All right, this is so cool. Can you identify the fasteners here? Hmm, let's see. Oh, I see them. Right there, right there, right there. And there's one right here. Awesome! Now we can take our super cute pink drill and take it apart. Here we go. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Awesome! Check this out. That's a really neat looking fastener. All right, three more to go. Here we go. Yes. All right, look, it's already coming apart. I think we need to take off one more fastener. Here we go. Nice job. All right, we've got all the fasteners out. Let's see if it comes apart. All right, look at all these pieces. Wow, that's so cool to see all the different pieces of this toy. <gasps> Makes a cool noise. <laughs> I love it. That was so neat. I feel super powerful taking things apart. <laughs> 
It's a great way to learn how things work. Hmm, I wonder how Rosie works. Don't worry, Rosie, I would never take you apart. Unless you were broken and I needed to fix you. Scientists take all kinds of things apart to learn about them, like things in nature. Engineers take things apart sometimes to learn how to design them better. And tradespeople take things apart when they need to fix them. Taking things apart can be really fun. But remember, if you want to take something apart, make sure you ask a grown-up first if it's all right. Because sometimes it can be really hard to put it back together. <laughs> All right, now that we've taken some things apart by loosening the fasteners, let's put something together. Look at this puzzle. Let's put it together. Hmm, we think it goes this way? Yeah. No, that's not right. Oh, I see, it's a gear heart. Here we go. But hey, it doesn't really stay together. How can we keep these two pieces together? Let's look for some clues. Oh, I see. You see these holes on the top? We just need some fasteners. Will you help me find the right ones? Okay, we've got all of these ones. Hmm, let's try this. Hmm, that fits in the hole, but you know what? It's too short, not long enough. Let's look at some other fasteners. Oh, this one's this one should be long enough. See, it goes all the way through. But you know what? It's a little too big for the hole. I know how to fix that. Let's see if we can make the hole bigger. We can use tools from my beautiful pink tool bag. I love this tool bag so much. And I've got a beautiful blue drill. So we're gonna use a drill, and we're gonna use a drill bit from our drill index. This is a drill index. It has all the different size drills that we need to make different holes. All right, so now we just need to find the right drill for this bolt. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna take the bolt and we're gonna put it next to all the different drills and see when we find the right one. This one looks right, see? Okay, here we go. We're gonna drill this hole. Now, the same thing goes for the drill. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. So we're gonna turn it to the left and it's gonna open up and then we're gonna put the bill, the bit in, and then we're gonna tighten. All right, there we go, we're ready to go. Here we go, we're gonna drill out all these holes. Nice job, let's see if it'll fit. There we go, it fits right in. Okay, so now we just need to put two of them here. All right, so we're gonna put a washer on first, and then we put the bolt in. Another washer and another bolt. We're gonna turn it over, and then we're gonna put two more washers on the ends, right before we put the nuts on. When you put washers on, it distributes the force of the nut and the bolt head so that it doesn't put too much pressure on your part. All right, that looks great. Now we need to tighten them. Let's find the right tools to tighten them in my pink tool bag. So for these hex heads, we need a socket. Hmm, where are my sockets? Here we go. My sockets are these special little tools that fit on this fastener. Let's see if I have the right one. Nope, that's not the right one, that's too small. That one's too big. I think my socket got left in the bag. Here we go, I think this is the right one. Yep, nice and tight. Okay, so we have a socket. Now we need a wrench to go on the back of this. Let's see if I can find my wrench. It's really important to stay nice and organized with all your tools because it's really easy to lose them. These are called channel locks. They're not as good as a wrench, but this will work for what we're doing. So we're gonna use the channel locks to clamp onto this nut, and then we're gonna use this socket to tighten, but we need something to turn the socket. Let's see if I can find my wrench, my socket wrench. All right, we have our socket and our wrench. Let's put our socket on this thing called a socket wrench. This makes loosening and tightening fasteners much easier. Whee! Okay, we need to put our socket wrench on our socket and then this wrench on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna hold our nut tight and then we're gonna use the wrench to tighten. Here we go. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Oops, I have this backwards. Okay, 
here we go. Righty tidy. Awesome, here we go. Tightening. Nice. All right, let's do the other one. Hold our nut on this side, and then we'll tighten with this wrench. That's a fun noise, huh? Ugh. Okay, it's nice and tight. Did you notice something? That I put all of the fasteners in place before I tighten them? Yeah, that's a trick of the trade. It makes sure that everything fits just right before you tighten anything down. All right, are you ready to learn about one more type of fastener? Yeah. This one is made of plastic and makes a zip sound. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We're gonna use these pretty color zip ties to make a pretty lantern. This is good practice to learn how to use zip ties, that's for sure. Hmm, but I don't know how many I should put on each section though. Let's do some math. If I have 400 zip ties, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these rings. How many zip ties should I put on each ring? I know. Let's divide 400 by 10. What is that? Um, hmm. It's 40. So we'll put 40 zip ties on each run. Good job using math. Okay, here we go. <sighs> this is going to be a lot of work. Maybe we should use some movie magic. Wow, that looks so neat. I wonder what it looks like in the dark. Whee! That looks so cool. Wow, I love that so much. What do you think, Mini Amelia? So cool! You two are so silly. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for learning about fasteners with me today. Fasteners are fun parts of STEM careers. That's science, technology, engineering, math, and trades. STEM jobs are exciting jobs that you can have. I believe everyone can do STEM. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, just search for Amelia Gearhart. And don't forget to like and subscribe so I can make more of my videos for you. All right, friends. Bye.